In 2022, cyber attacks on critical infrastructure and systems of national security are on the rise. This has driven an increase in cybersecurity legislature and industry regulation, prompting greater collaboration between state and industrial entities. In this video, we will break down our recent white paper on cybersecurity in the logistics sector and how to implement smart integration for smarter business growth. For comparison, check out our previous logistics white paper video via the link above to see how the focus has changed. According to the Australian Cybersecurity Centre, attacks on Australia rose by 13% in 2021, costing losses totalling $33 billion. A quarter of the 75,500 cybercrime reports were associated with Australia's critical infrastructure. This included the ransomware attack on JBS Foods that shut down their operations globally and cost the company $14.2 million in ransom payout. Attacks against Australia also targeted healthcare, energy sectors, supply chains and government offices by exploiting the pandemic environment, ransomware and business email compromise. We spoke to the CEO of Freight and Trade Alliance, Paul Zalai, for his perspective as an industry leader on the logistics sector. The international forwarders, um, they're, they're obviously not exempt from this either. You know, they, we saw with, um, with expediters um, most recently the, the impact it had on them. Um, you know, and speaking with their executive locally, you know, it had significant impacts here in, in, in Australia and New Zealand. Australia's situation is similar to countries around the world. The crippling ransomware attack on Colonial Pipeline that affected many of the 118 million inhabitants of America's East Coast. The audacious DDoS attack on New Zealand Stock Exchange that knocked the bourse offline for two days in a row. The sophisticated Revel ransomware attack on Kaseya's VSA software as a service platform that infected Kaseya's customers globally. The failed but familiar attack on Ukraine's national power grid that mimicked the successful attack in 2015 that left roughly 230,000 without electricity. This rising worldwide cybercriminal threat has driven an increase in cybersecurity legislature and industry regulation. Canada's recent Bill C-26 included the Critical Cyber Systems Protection Act that imposes obligations on organisations of national importance to honour mandatory cybersecurity programmes and cyber incident reporting. In Australia, the Security Legislation Amendment Critical Infrastructure Protection Bill 2022 proposes to revise measures surrounding logistics and critical infrastructure obligations. The UK's Product Safety and Telecommunications Infrastructure Bill is being pushed through Parliament as we speak to ensure only IoT devices with a minimum level of security are sold to consumers. The increasing cybercriminal threat to critical infrastructure has also highlighted the importance of greater collaboration between state and industrial entities. Cybersecurity specialists, industry operators and state agencies have realised they need to become partners in the fight against cybercrime. An example of this growing cooperation is Australia's Joint Cybersecurity Centre, bringing members of the ACSC Partnership Programme together with businesses, research communities and state, territory and government agencies. The rising risk of cybercriminal attack, increasing cybersecurity regulation and growing cooperation between state and industrial entities are essential changes for the logistics sector. Not least of all because war and the global pandemic have forced logistics organisations to evolve rapidly. Supply chains have multiplied in complexity due to the increasing integration of information technology, operational technology, artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. With increasing operational complexity, the risk of losing data or cargo has also increased. Sophisticated ransomware and even relatively simple DDoS attacks have the ability to take machines offline, cripple operations and create a chaotic environment where value and revenue goes missing easily. How can businesses in the logistics sector align their complex operations with a changing cybersecurity environment? Most importantly, begin to realise that growth without investment in cybersecurity is dangerous. Under hard times, the temptation is to sweat assets to maximise productivity. But you would imagine the international forwarders are probably better placed than um, a lot of our small to medium sized members. And then again, that offer that we put out, Jono, to, to the smaller medium sized forwarders about the, um, you know, the payment for the penetration tests only on a, on a basis if, if you were successful in, in breaking through their, their protections. Um, you know, I'm sort of surprised that we haven't had a bigger uptake on that. But on the other hand, Maybe it's a case of human nature as well. Um, maybe they, they don't want to know the bad news. But investing less in cybersecurity leaves organisations without safeguards or defences against an array of potential cyber attacks. 
Equally, you don't want to bury your head in the sand. Investment in cybersecurity is only as beneficial as the direction it is applied. Look, if I had to make a general observation, I think it's still this putting your head in the sand. They know in the back of their mind that, oh my God, if we got a cyber attack, that would be devastating, but let's just hope that goes away. In a complex industry like logistics, maintaining a map of converging technologies can quickly spiral out of control. At that point, it may be too difficult or too expensive to identify weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Investing in continuous monitoring, vulnerability and penetration tests, and following cybersecurity standards like NIST and Essential 8 will be far more reliable than depending on cybersecurity insurance. Subscribe to Cyber Citadel for more cybersecurity industry analysis. We also frequently release explainer, analysis, and service videos to support the cybersecurity community. The risk is real. Defend with Cyber Citadel.